Welcome back to Midday Kentucky, everyone, live down here at Shakespeare & Co. at the downtown location. We're upstairs because I wanted to do a wedding show today, and we also, you can have your wedding party here. You can also have the pre-dinners. Even a shower. It's even a shower, here, baby yeah. shower, too. Mm -hmm. We want to introduce you to Keith and Melissa Russell, and they're our photographer experts here today. Welcome to the show, my friends. Thank you for having us. Okay, so it's a little hot, huh? It is a little warm. <laughs> All right, the first thing that we need to ask, because everyone asks us on the show how do you know you're picking the right photographer that's super important it really is um, first of all you have to love their pictures <laughs> that's the first step so a good to, website exactly a good website um, I think when you meet the photographer and you have a consultation yes you will get to know them and you'll just know it's right okay yeah I got you so talk to us about how do you um, have a consultation with a bride? What sort of things do you ask to find out, you know, the type of pictures they want, how they would want their wedding covered? You know, maybe if you don't have an idea. Um, so we will meet with the, the couple to um, kind of get their vision for the day. Okay. Um, see how many hours of coverage they might need. Do they want us to be there at the very beginning to the very end, or is it more of an elopement style wedding where... Um, ah. They don't need quite as much coverage as somebody else. Um, okay, but do they understand that you can use the same photographer um, from the engagement parties all the way through if you really yes. want to? And are they type of the packages that you put together? Yes, um, actually all of our packages include an engagement session. Okay. So um, we will work with them at the engagement session and it's really nice because when you work with them at the engagement session, um, it helps you at the wedding. Um, really feel oh. comfortable and you, you, you're familiar with our posing techniques and stuff like that. Oh, so you have a technique for all oh, the bride yes. and groom. Oh. Not like David <laughs> Goldman. He was flashing all over the place. <laughs> like one minute he was at a, one location, the next he's yeah. a, one of the guys that help us okay. out here on the show. <laughs> um, how many hours is the typical photography session for a wedding? So can someone just say, I just want you to do the church. I just, and plus my girlfriend's doing the reception. That must drive you crazy. <laughs> it's better to do the whole thing. It is better to do the whole thing. Like I said, some people will just need three to four hours for an elopement. Um, other people want very beginning of the day to the very end. So that might be 12 or 13 hours of coverage. What? But for most yes. of our couples, eight to 10 hours is the perfect amount. Of that time. long? Yes. Yeah. Sometimes. They have to get it all. What is this, Vogue? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Well, you like, miss those special moments. Yes, uh, yeah. there are a lot of moments. Um, you want to get from the very beginning, the makeup, the hair, yeah. all the way to the last I dance. I got you. All right, I understand that. All right, I have to ask this question. Yes. What is your worst type of bridal shoot? There's got to be a bad one. I know there is. Um... We love all of our weddings. Honestly, we go into every one of them super excited. Um, some of the more challenging engagement sessions could be like if they bring a puppy. Yeah, okay. okay. Here you know, we go. It's super fun. Or they're milking a cow or something. I don't know. People do some crazy stuff. People are getting married at Pizza Hut yeah. and yeah. Taco Bell. Do you true, know what I mean? True. White Castle. Yeah. Exactly. So who knows what it will end up. I just remember some of these pictures that we see on the internet. They're all on this porch as an example and then mm -hmm. it goes in the river yes. or they're on an ice skating <laughs> rink and the bloody hole breaks yeah. like yeah. do you sort of tell them what not to definitely, expect definitely we tell them um, we actually pose them and set them up so we know it's safe <laughs> we're I not going to do you. anything crazy with them so well let's talk about when should we start thinking about photography I know people book yes. the venue immediately yeah. but um, to, yeah. how far in advance are you needing to plan photography services Photography services are probably your second, second thing that you thing. book. Um, okay. Because once a photographer, it's just like a venue, once a venue is booked, there is nothing else happening that day or that weekend. Photographers oh. are the same way. You shoot one wedding a day and that's it. So once a photographer's gone, they're gone. So do you require a booking when someone, not a booking, a um, deposit, money up front? When, yes. when they book you because they could be booking you a year out that's right mm -hmm. that's okay. right some of them book us a year and a half out this is amazing so. we're going to put all your details up okay. on the screen now tell everyone your website again yes it's keith and uh keith and melissa on um instagram and keith and melissa on facebook and our website is kmrussellphotography.com well we appreciate both of you yes, coming thank in you. Thank we've you. got another fashion parade coming up very shortly, everyone, this is Midday Kentucky, live down at Shakespeare & Co, downtown on level two. You've got to come down. See you in a minute.